Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are watching our brand new service heading down the Eastern Corridor and uh, coming towards us quite rapidly. There's a little change I've done thanks to uh, Anglo-Saxon for pointing it out. And we should see that, maybe. Will we? No, it was too late. But anyway, I'll go and show you what I did. It was uh, heading on the wrong track, as it's about to now. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And behind it, I believe we have the... That'll be the big boy. I didn't know that was coming behind us. Guys. I mean, for this run, it's actually quite good that we're on the wrong track. However, I have changed it. And uh, there's now a waypoint so that we avoid the passenger line. Our uh, big boy there, as he heads by, is on the correct line for freight. But it's kind of handy, isn't it? Because both of our freight trains are heading down the uh, heading down the main line. It would have been okay if they'd have followed each other. They would have kept moving. Oh, that's lovely. So there we go. That was a nice opener. You eyes up, and we've unlocked some stewed bakers. I'm sure that is not how that's pronounced. It might be stewed baker, stewed baker, stewdy baker. Anyway, we've got some new trucks. We'll take a look at those as well, since we are working on some trucks today. So let's take a look at our Eastern Corridor loose goods line, and I can show you that we now have a waypoint at uh, Phoenix Signal 33. I kind of like that numbering they have. Who are you? <laughs> Where are you? Aren't you? What is going on there? You are Phoenix to Palmdale. This line. That may have been because of some changes we made, but there are 12 people on board who are now going on a little bit of a journey. I, I don't think you're supposed to be heading all the way down the Eastern Corridor. You're going to have to do the full loop, sir. So that hasn't been fixed, has it? It's kind of cool, though, because we are following the uh, the freight train down there. It says waiting for free path. But that shouldn't be the case unless we are missing some signals, which we are. There we go. Thank you for demonstrating that, Train 14. Perhaps that was the whole reason behind it. I completely forgot I never finished the uh, signalling down here. And we definitely need more than that, don't we? And uh, I was supposed to show you these signals that I was doing down here. As they were these short signals that we've got. These tiny signals. Uh, these are going to be one way. We have one there. So this is all I did. I just put these on like that. We'll go and do the ones at the beginning of the bridge as well, I guess. They were supposed to be... A couple just here as well. So we'll stick these on. We'll get rid of that other signal. Uh, that way and that way. Get rid of you for now. And then we'll... Uh, where else do we need some? Given how busy this is, we might actually over-signal this. I feel like one in the middle here might be good. Just to keep our trains moving. So we'll have one there. And one there as well. Now we'll... Uh, Pop in our gantries. They should be three wide. <laughs> Dancing around there. And uh, we could set them inside. I mean, they're not obstructed, but I like them hanging over a bit. Because if you look down here, they would be quite secure, wouldn't they? They're bolted through there. And I don't think these are the heaviest either. So yeah, they'll be very, very sturdy. Right, we'll do the same up here. There we go, get you along there. And we'll do the same, get closer, I can't tell. There we go. And what we should be able to do now is add those signals on the other side and have them just peeking out as well. Ah, there we go, lovely, right. So we'll get this all signaled up. We definitely need them heading south, don't we? Because it's, a, it's gonna be a little congested. I like this though. I like that we're uh, having to work with a triple track system. If we had dynamic dispatching, we could have the center track bi-directional. 
and actually weave trains around depending on uh, the schedule. A little bit dangerous perhaps, but uh, we're just going to run with it like this. Dear, oh dear. I don't think our train is going to do that permanently, or at least I hope not. Anyway, we've got to pause it because Master of Disaster, I think that's your name. Also noticed we had a bit of an issue on our brand new line. And uh, we wouldn't be picking up any grain. Because at, I mean, Athens. See, I don't like the naming here. This should be Athens Conmats. And then Athens, this should be Athens Farm. Spot the issue. We are unloading instead of loading. There we go. That is fixed. That should be fine now. That obviously wouldn't trigger demand here. Now we've tidied this up. I want to see what this does. How long we're waiting for. Uh, on board. Well, it doesn't have to be on board. We'll just sit to the side here. Yeah, on our big boy. We're coming to a stop. Get that down there so we can see the rear of our, uh, our new service. But we should get a green... There's a signal just up where he's passing in the distance there. So any time now. Now? Oh, I'm terrible at that. Come on. It shouldn't be that far. There we go. The other thing would be, because we're pulling away and running a little bit slower, we should give the, the train ahead, which is running pretty much at full speed, the chance to get into the next block. So we should uh, crawl up behind it. We might need to slow down. And it might be beneficial for me to uh, tweak the uh, the realistic braking mod to be a little more aggressive. Or no, a little less aggressive. So that it takes us longer to slow down. I wouldn't mind doing that actually. Which for following another train or chasing yellows is is ideal to have that uh, quite a bit weaker the braking there we go perfectly demonstrated by our big boy these will obviously get a little bit longer once we've settled down a touch but today though we need to finish this don't we we need to finish this setup here and uh, i didn't realize just how close we were to the the road there we want our trucks to be quite slow, don't we? Through the uh, yard and stuff. They don't want to be barreling through there. So we'll send this out a little bit. And then we'll put a nice curve onto it. And sort of make a Y. Just there. Why? <laughs> because, because it looks nice. It also gives us a little bit of an excuse to do just a touch of official episode. Just so that doesn't look like... Uh, it's been plonked in. Obviously, that's what happened. It was mentioned these are way too close. And uh, one suggestion in the comments was that they were perhaps in the sidings because they're, uh, they're waiting to have uh, some more couplers put on. I need to go and do that. I will do it before the next episode. I'll space these out correctly. So fear not. These will, uh, these will look like they're properly connected. Although for now, that is the reason they're in the sidings. I like that idea. They're in the sidings because they need to be fixed and <laughs> have a, a knuckle put on there or two. So we've got this hooked up. We now need to uh, get this looking a little bit uh, bigger. Are, are you just pulling in there with no grain on? Or are you just leaving? You might actually just be leaving. Uh, you're leaving. You just drop grain off. Yeah, this doesn't actually do anything at the moment. But it's about to. Where's our food? Well, Providence does need food. So we could potentially send out a truck there just to get that up and running. We might as well max out this food processing plant if we can. Before we touch any others. There's rarely enough farms on the map. The balance for food and uh, grain is not the best as i've mentioned a few times we did sort this bridge out thankfully i think we need to sort this road out although i do love it it just needs 
yeah it just needs straightening a little bit because it's it's wiggling unnecessary in some places we're going to need some beefy trucks to be able to get up there though right time to upgrade everything let's get this nice and uh, beefy our drop-offs only need to be like tiny platforms it's just where we're going to drop them off and continue but we are going to have one where we pick up a whole bunch of stuff as well i'm hoping this turns out how i want it to and we're going to expand this with an idea that we might be using articulated trucks on this one cargo let's get you quite a bit bigger uh, does that give us the 140 again it does that was a complete fluke right and now we need yes yeah, street access these only need to be one way don't they there we go we can just slide in there i'm wondering what will happen if we then got another one that we use for drop-offs that is just a 10 can we slot it in there it would be kind of nice there this one's just going to be purely for goods in that's going to be goods out so that's going to be providence is it providence it is isn't it not providence yeah i want to can i cancel that no we just called it po we'll have this one tinky winky is there a one called po by one i mean <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about anymore just be quiet grand name it something that isn't a teletubby Providence, food, goods, out. And this one is Providence, goods in only. Is it a little excessive? Absolutely. Am I having fun with it? Not if I put it that way around. Yes, I am. That's a little bit wiggly. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I thought I had it the same distance away. It is fine. Right, that's going in there. Our trucks will drop off. We might need to make it a little bit bigger um, just in case we decide to have the bigger trucks running there. Not to queue up, but to ensure they can move around in there. I mean, I don't like the way this works, but uh, it's all we've got, isn't it? We'll just uh, make it work. Right. We could potentially branch off there, though, couldn't we? And then we upgrade this one to a one-way system. So it looks nicer. Yeah, I like that. So we do that. I think that that'll be fine, won't it? And then we should be able to branch in here, and we'll make that the the two way. Yeah, the two way road up to that point. Did I go too far? Oh, you burk. Yeah, this is supposed to be that one. It is at least facing the right way. Get you curvy and you're gonna pull in or back out like that i would kind of prefer it if you went out like that instead so you're smoother better and then we can change that part can't we into it as well there we go and now we've got uh, a nice section there i don't like what's going on up here so we'll give ourselves an area so this is this has changed, hasn't it, today? Goodness me. When we need this straight, and hopefully at the same uh, the same distance, and please can we get a lovely curve into that? It'll be great. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. There we go. Right, a little bit of uh, official episode round here to finish it off, and then we can get this up and running. We're going to send our current trucks, these ones. These are going to go into the goods in only. So we'll just do it there and we'll delete the goods out. There we go. And you can drop off. That's fine, isn't it? What we could do is have these drop off there. And we're just going to unload grain. Tick the other ones. Yeah, that should work in case it's busy and we've got a truck unloading. Half of our grain is going to come from that one we set up temporarily. The other half will be taken via the new line we're about to create. So what we want to do is get us a, a bunch of big buildings down the back here. There we go. Can we fit a little shed at the end? Nope. 
But we'll get these so they can store a whole ton of stuff. That'll do. One there. And we'll have a couple of sheds either side. There we go. They've got their own their own look to them. And you can't just plonk them on here, Grand. We do need a building on here. We can look at that as though it's an office, can't we? Just like a couple of buildings there. Now, why don't you do them facing what you can see when we're turning in instead of uh, with our backs to them? Although, yeah, what are you thinking about, man? It'll be fine if there's just a couple of sheds there, wouldn't it? It's not like the back of the building doesn't have details on it. Could we uh, fill this in? So this bit is all that tarmac -y color. It's asphalt, isn't it? Yeah. What do you need? Paint. Let's get you painted up. Is it that one? I want to say it's that one. Oh, it's beautiful. There we go. We'll hold shift and go over the, uh, the dirt as well and the path, even though it's still there as a connection. And then this bit looks like a, uh, a proper yardy area then, doesn't it? There we go. We could maybe even just cut it off there and change that into where's that uh, yeah this one here where it's broken up down there like that there we go yes oh I like that I guess if we uh, paint the edge there we can have it sort of broken up at the side of the road for whatever reason there we go down there that kind of looks nice too Looks like we've sort of cut it, doesn't it? Kind of maintaining it. In a fashion. Yeah, that's pleasant. I like that. So there we go. Our big yard. Big yard. He looks cool. Should we set up a line then and get some... Uh, some stuff moving? We do have grain up here. Which we could also bring down. If we're not meeting demand. I do like that idea. New line. We're going to go from here. From uh, Phoenix Bus Tram Station 2. Right, before we do anything. Phoenix Freight Goods North. There we go. And we need to add us another one. Which is going to be up here. Yeah, we're going to... Are we going to go and drop off? I sort of like the idea of dropping off the goods. There. First. And then we like wiggle in and actually pick up so from this place goods in is where we go first so our goods out which is the last stop we're gonna pick up our grain and we're gonna full load waiting for eternity then our goods in all we're doing is dropping off our grain where's our grain up there is this grain let's just double check yes load grain for eternity this one is unload grain only. Then at Phoenix Freight Goods North, load... Oh, it's not grain, is it? No, it's going to be food. That's fine. We can change that. Don't let me forget. Now, what we do have with our goods out is other grain trucks popping in. So uh, we will be able to pick up... Where's our food? Food. There we go. Wait for eternity. It does mean we're going to need an end point. I'm thinking Providence might be good. Well, Athens, guys. Athens. Uh, that's going to be the, the end goal, as it were. So our trucks that are delivering are going to use this little road here. And they're going to pop in and pick up stuff at the end. And we might as well just drop some stuff off in Providence. See, I'm not even sure we're going to have a train connected. I know we've got the uh, West Coast main line i was gonna say the western corridor running down here but uh should we not it's a sort of american thing to do isn't it maybe not in this era but uh possibly possibly uh where are you wanting your food delivered to the edge of town round there which we're not really nicely connected to we will be if we finish that off though Okay, so we'll drop you off probably down this back street. There we go. That will give us our food down there. We'll fix this road for them, in fact. We'll grid it a little bit. Even though this is uh, Providence on our map is a small town, 
what we could do is make sure it's nice and flat down here and give them a chance to gridify it. There we go. We'll get you tidied up like that. We'll make this, uh, well, yeah, we'll start making this a main road now, I think, heading out that way. Uh, do we need to take some of that wiggle out? Do you know, not for now, not for now, until we work on it properly. I would like to remove some of this wiggle, though. Not too much, we're still going to wiggle up there. I was deleting trees, guys, that's not good, is it? Yeah, we're going to head up there, that's fine. I would like us to join in here nicely. So we're going to make sure this bit is at least flat. It can curve round, but it definitely needs to be flat, doesn't it? Otherwise, it will make a terrible junction. So we can have this head up this way. And we'll make sure it's straight. Oh, that's, that's awful. Perhaps we'll do that all the way from there as a nice straight road. There we go. That's more pleasing also gives us a chance to do some official episode i know this uh this unnecessarily ramps off here but it's not heading up it's just that's how the, the ground is sitting what we need to do is where's the contour so let's give us some contour lines so we know what the scenery is doing that's water that won't help you yeah if we aim for that contour there and then we we, we're going to put a wiggle back in. We can stay straight for a little bit. Wiggle past the forest here. We want to be heading up into that gap. So we'll continue. We'll move up and down. Then we'll head up and around. Yeah, up there. There we go. That's rather nice. Because we need to make this junction here perfectly flat. That's quite steep, isn't it? Yeah, you head up there. Well, where do we join? Just here. So if we go in at that point, we can branch off from that point and we can get rid of this side, can't we? And make that flat as well. There we go. If you go in, is that? That's unnecessary, I think. We'll redraw you. Lots of road works. I love it though. It's creating an area, isn't it? Oh yeah, you don't want to stay flat for that. You are gonna, you are gonna dive down, I think. Yeah, I do like that. You dive down there. We're gonna try and follow this terrain a little bit, and where the road was. But we're gonna do it um, slightly tidier. I'm hoping. Right, follow you up through the trees. Thankfully, uh, it leaves the trees intact, which is nice. Right, then you go through into there. I like this bit. That can stay. Yes? Yeah, I do like that bit. You can stay. I don't mind these wiggles through the forest. That bit is too much slope. Yeah, this is the thing we've got to uh, account for, guys. We've got a limit on our slopage. So we are going to have to rebuild this, taking that into consideration. And we've got some junctions here. This actually needs to be flat coming off, doesn't it? Yes. We don't want to head down. We need to head flat and straight up. There we go. Like that. We'll get rid of the... Yeah, we'll get rid of that. The bridge. But it gives us a chance now to hook these roads in. I'm not sure what they're actually doing. And I do like the idea of a staggered crossroads coming in. Do I? Yes, I prefer a staggered crossroads to a crossroads. Right, you go in there, but you connect up to that point. That will be, yes, that will be fine. Question is, how do we get up here now? And we're going to have to go at maximum grade. So we're probably going to add additional wiggles rather than remove wiggles. But that, oh, look at that road. It's so steep. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that is super steep, isn't it? We might be able to get away with a, a bit more of a slope. We can still wiggle up there. But we can hopefully take out some of that grade. Just a little bit, not too much. If we go up... Yeah, I don't like that too much. If we go up and we just shift... There we go, like that. Just so the 
Oh dear, where have you gone there? Just so the grade itself is a little less aggressive at that point. Then you can wiggle round like that. I prefer that, do I? Yeah, I think I do. We're just trying to take out some of the bumps. Uh, but keep the curvature and the whole mounting side road. There we go. Yeah, I'd like this dip. This will make you uh, lose your dinner, wouldn't it? Dear, oh dear. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, and then we are up and down. Oh, it's beautiful. Right, I'm not going to go too over the top with official episode here. Just enough to take the, uh, the strangeness away from the sides of the roads there. Because I, I would like there to be quite a bit of... Uh, yeah, quite a bit of elevation change. Not sure if we've got the grey to get up there. Oh, we do. Right after that. Oh, it's a nightmare road. I love it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Right, we'll get you connected up nicely. And then we're done, I think, for the rebuild of this road. Uh, we'll just smooth it off with some more official episode. Then we can get our trucks underway, can't we? With our brand new road here. Yeah, we don't need that. That's unnecessary. Don't need any of this. This should all be... Uh, yeah, that should have all been sorted anyway. It's not too bad, though. It's kind of lovely, isn't it? The road is sweeping as opposed to abrupt in places, perhaps. Uh, do what? I don't know what I want to do with that. Oh, it still slopes up. Yeah, there we go. There's a, there's a lot of elevation change here. I think they have a rally here occasionally. I mean, they could, couldn't they? That is, oh yeah, rally territory. Especially this uh, crest here. Oh, he's kind of nice, isn't he? I'm, I don't like that. That's unnecessary. You won't see much going on, will you? No. Get you flattened out up to there. And then we can uh, smooth you off. There we go. We'll have a little bit of a rock face, I guess. Yeah, I, I might redo that and put the rock face back in. This is okay. This needs sturdier firing, though. Uh, along the side there. That should be good enough, shouldn't it? All right. Oh, that's, uh, that's like bumpy. That's fine, though. That'll do for now. Leave it alone, Grand. No, put the rock face back in. There, if we follow this road, it should put it in off the side of the road. And then we'll just smooth that out to the side. There we go. There we go. Get rid of that tree. And that one. You're not supposed to be there. Right, guys, now we can set it up, can we? We've got a brand new upgraded road running all the way through. We have our line in, don't we? While I would like to call this drayage, I feel like it's leaning more to a haulage company as opposed to drayage of part of the line. We kind of end our train with the dropping off the grain back here and, and then we're done. Yeah, so I'm going to call this, uh, ooh, but what though? Phoenix grain haulage? That'll do, wouldn't it? Well, it's mixed, isn't it? Food haulage. Don't know, we could have it named as a, uh, a company. Haulage. Haulage. Here we go. Phoenix grain. Food haulage. And then we'll have it, uh, I guess, orange. Where's Phoenix? Well, see what you can see. There we go. Zoom in. This one. You are going to be... Let's have you... No, that's wood. I reserve that for... No, we've got browns over there now. Dark orange. There we go. Phoenix food haulage. This should be all set up. We're dropping off grain. I almost thought that was stone. We are picking up food at Providence Food Goods Out. We should be picking up our grain from here. It should trigger all of our demand as well. Do I? We should have maybe a couple of pickup points here. Thankfully, our trucks are going to come out of that place and we get to look at our new trucks. Manage line, let's just uh, give you a couple of more options. Maybe one and two. Uh, yes, why not? I like it. Right, we don't want it to go the other way. We'll possibly have other trucks doing that. So this should trigger demand, shouldn't it? Buy vehicles and we get to take a look at the Studi Baker. And we want uh, a carry-all. We can't, unfortunately, just use tippers or specialised trucks, that is. 
as we need to take what do you take you don't take grain that's interesting though it's uh side stakes isn't it okay 37 miles an hour now you're gonna need some decent oomph so if you are you are two and a half tons with the same power so that answers well not the same power but yeah we can't take these can we unfortunately it's going to have to be these. They've got more power and less weight. I mean, they've got roughly the same power, but uh, half the weight. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense to me. You can't take it. No, right. We're having these then. We'll get some decent trucks for this. Well, 15, where are you going, man? Just start with 10 and go from there. I was going to put the world on, apparently. You can go on Phoenix Food Haulage. Hey, there we go. Now we get to see whether we uh, start to uh, kick up production, because we should... No, we can't, can we? What have you not done, Grand? Do we want a, a truck depot up here? It's a sort of nice place for one, isn't it? Yeah, out the back here. Or up here, before the one-way system. Would be kind of lovely. Let's stick another uh, a depot in here, road vehicle depot, because we should be able to do something like that. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, we'll see. We'll see where you come out of. It's a little bit of extra roadside scenery, isn't it? Let's start the, uh, the delivery, which I completely forgot to do. We want goods out. Yes, we want to pick up Max. Do we want it, Max? Yeah, I think we do. And you're going to be delivering into Providence up there. And thankfully, I put it on the right side of the road, so that's nice. Food is... Uh, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. That's absolutely fine. And you can pick up primarily... We don't want our other trucks really hanging around, but um, I'm going to say primarily from one. There we go. And then with the option to pick up at two... And then we'll add maybe two to this one. I think this will be fine just like this though. And you are going to be loading. Where's our food? I know it can't really load anything else. But uh, we, I'm just going to go overly specific with it. And then be confused when it's all not working. We'll just start with a few trucks on here until we see a backlog. And we will go with the Studi Bakers for these. And these do take... A bit more, don't they? Yeah, there we go. These take a bit more. And they're side stakes, so we'll go with four. We'll have those that orange colour, which is what uh, I believe that is. And that's Phoenix Grain, that's Phoenix Food Delivery. And we'll take a quick look at the uh, stewed baker come out, whatever, however it's pronounced. Oh, you're a box, aren't you? You're just sturdy. Are you no longer required for... Uh, military use you're off though it's brilliant right you should go and wait yeah there for eternity and do we have uh, some production kicking up where are we all the way up our grain farm here i'm hoping so there it goes guys there it goes consumers providence food processing which is all the way over there i mean this kind of as the crow flies you go that way but we're making use of our uh, extravagant... Oh, there, there, it's kicking up. Our extravagant freight hub. And we've got uh, a whole bunch of trucks on the way now. They're not going to pick up anything at the moment. As we've got to bring it all the way back down north. Uh, but where's our train? You should be dropping off... Which you're not going to drop off anything just yet. You are going to pay a visit... Loading speed, don't really care about that. There we go. Away you go. Now you should stop at... Uh, I'm just going to triple check this. Stop at the farm and load grain, which should possibly be waiting for you soon. Are we connected? Are we connected to the station? Yes, we are. Good. Right, are you going to start dropping off grain? The production's pretty slow at the moment, isn't it? Two of... Uh, to a 200 yeah i think for our first run what we'll do is we'll send him off 
and go from there. Where's our passenger train? Maybe we can go on the passenger train. <laughs> with join these 12 people. I'll tell you what, why not? Right, we'll pause that there. I'm not sure how you're going to get round here. I'm hoping you go around the outside. It'll be a very short cab ride if uh, you decide to back up behind him. There's a bypass track. Please use it. Don't come in here. Although, Train 11, our big boy, should be up and gone. I think for this first run, guys, we take off the weight ball just so we get moving. Let's do that. Uh, load if available. We'll just do that and then we'll change it back once we've made our first journey because we've got to go and pick up that stone. We've made like a test run. All right, guys, we're on our wayward passenger train. Carry on my wayward passenger train as we... I don't know what we're going to do. So that's why I got on it. Thankfully, our trains won't hold us up. If we're following them, it'll be nice to see how that sort of plays out because we do have passenger trains running down that line we're about to go. We're about to head south on the Eastern Corridor. We have got a lot, an awful lot of balancing to do. I want to get all the grain up and running. I want to get all the stone up and running. I want to really start pushing that uh, demand. So that means finding a way to bring food down here, which is where we probably split the big boys up. We have one that's all flat cars and then we have one that's all box cars so we'll have a nice big long big boy a nice big long big boy yes <laughs> a nice lengthy big boy oh dear stop now guys thank you for watching i had fun today again that seems to be the theme for this series and until next time take care